Hi all. Uh, this is Ashish Kyal here. Welcome again to Elliot Wave News channel by uh, Wave Strategy Advisors. Uh, periodical Friday update at 4 p.m. Uh, and uh, we in today's session we are going to look at something in a very very different way. Uh, is the current Nifty valuations uh, justified? And uh, the way equity markets have been moving over uh, the past few months are the valuations. Uh, probably justified. So valuations, when someone talks about valuations, the first thing that comes to mind is it is probably a fundamental aspect. But uh, for me, it doesn't make any difference whether we are talking about fundamental aspects or technical aspect. But the main intention is to understand how overstretched the market is as of now, looking at the historical trend. That is as simple as that. So whether it, you call it as a technical analysis, you call it fundamental analysis, doesn't matter to me because uh, it helps it is a very very important parameter price to earning ratio is a very important parameter that helps us to understand where do we stand right now with respect to the historical pe in the past that we have seen and uh, what i am going to show you are right now is there are the charts on which you can see the pe ratios of nifty you can see the pe ratio of bank nifty and to my surprise, uh, the P ratio of mid cap index has been exorbitantly high. So whether this P ratio is valued is highly overvalued or undervalued for that anyone has to look at the history, what the history says. And trust me, when there is always a high valuations, there will be some or the other news that will uh, try to justify those valuations. Even the 2000 bubble when it happened with the IT boom, it was said that it's the new economy and that's why the valuations are justified. In 2008, when the, there was a huge move on the upside in the global markets and entire global markets were demanding huge valuations, uh, it was again justified that this is again a new economy, a new way of looking at the financial instruments. And that's why in 2007, the, uh, 2007 early 2008, the valuations are justified. But then what we have seen is a very, very sharp capitulation across the globe and uh, the valuations then uh, was drastically from the higher value to the lower value of the P can be seen in just a very short span of time. So right now I'm going to show you uh, charts of Nifty uh, P, uh, which is going to show where do we stand with historical turning areas because I look at chart to find out if there is any pattern. If there is a pattern, if there is a resistance area or if there is a zone which we know from where pockets have reversed before, it provides a very, very vital information. And the reason for showing that chart right now is we are at a very, very important juncture. The euphoria is high. People are expecting 11,000 Nifty and probably uh, a, a strong bull trend. But the way I'm looking at it is this bull, this rally which has happened has been on a weak breath. If you look at the breath, overall breath of the markets, those have been very, very weak. The advanced decline line has been constantly coming on the downside. At the same time, uh, the, the valuations, the, the, the earnings are not catching up with the valuations the stocks are demanding. So, and that is clearly reflected in the PE chart that I'm going to share right now. So, uh, over here, if you can see my screen, now this is a very, very important chart where you can clearly see how much of uh, the PE Nifty has been demanding. So, the first chart shows the Nifty PE chart since 99 and it shows the standard deviation from the mean. So the mean value, if we consider as 19, and currently, if you look at this chart, Nifty is currently a trading at the zone of a nearly 25 PE, uh, which is in the expensive zone. Now, this is the area. If you look at this area, this was the 2008 top when Nifty, I think, uh, topped out around 28, 20, uh, around 27, 28 zone. And then in 2010, when the rally started, it again reached towards that over value where uh, you can see it around 27.50 uh, zone and, and then again. So these areas have marked a very, very important turn. So uh, the, the bust of 2000 and uh, near 2000, the IT bubble, bubble. Uh, then you can see in 2008, uh, again, a reverse on the downside. So a reverse on the downside indicates that the prices have started capitulating because earnings can't go that drastically down in a short term. So the price has started capitulating and then we enter into a zone of oversold territory. So the oversold zone becomes around this, which is somewhere around in the zone of 12 or 13. So 12 or 13 becomes the oversold zone. So this is the oversold zone for the markets. 
this is the overbought zone for the market so this is the overbought zone i would say because uh, that is where the uh, the overvaluations lie so if i look at this indicator forget about whether it's fundamental or technical the basic uh, criteria to look at any indicator is to see where is what is the zone what is the average and markets invariably try to catch up with the average uh, sooner or the later so over here if you see the zone on the expensive side is somewhere around 24 25 and on the downside the oversold zone is around 12 to 13 so right now we are lying in the zone of 24 25 area which is again a very expensive zone uh, from the historical pe perspective we saw a very uh, we saw at least few months of correction after the top was formed over here we saw a correction again in 2016 if you remember again a top was formed from this zone and we are again back to this zone so it is not very often markets uh, enter into an over expensive zone uh, which is currently we are seeing uh, it has happened only a few times in the history you can see that in 2000 you can see that in 2007 2008 you can see in 2010 11 and probably over recent past so we are not a very cheap market we are overextended from the mean which uh, is uh, the current valuations demanding now the justification will come it's a new economy the uh, there is a new phase of the markets that are opening up the the uh, overall monsoon is good so the earnings are going to catch up but that earnings have to catch up so which means that we need to wait at least for a quarter or two quarters or three quarters for the earnings to catch up if that has to happen which means market should stay here if the earnings have to catch up so if markets are staying here which means we are going to have a time correction if not price even that is a correction so the point i'm trying to make is even if there is a time correction and market should not rally more from here which means there is going to be a, a range bound moment for many uh, for a, a quarter or two to in, in coming months and based on the assumptions that the earnings are going to catch up now that looks little skeptical for me and i think uh, we are in the overbought zone can we remain in the overbought zone yes we can remain for a few months it's not ruled out but it is time not to put fresh money for investments in the market as of now now uh, that is just nifty now let us try to look at what is happening with bank nifty now bank nifty is again demanding some crazy valuations if you look at bank nifty we are in the zone of three standard deviation from the mean now this is expensive market now bank nifty is has shown a very very sharp rise without much uh, of the uh, earnings catching up so which means that in the quarters past few quarters the price have continued to rally but the earnings have not improved that clearly shows that price to earning ratio for bank nifty is near 30 is in, in it shows that if 30 is something that banks are demanding the banking stock should uh, show profitability to that extent which i seriously doubt so it's not a fairly valued market again looking at a secondary index again a very important index a bank nifty chart so we can clearly see this chart showed uh, overvaluation in the zone of 25 uh, at this point it was again overvalued in the zone of 24 the mean of the chart of bank nifty is much much lower so around 14 is what the mean is and we can clearly see how the exp how expensive bank nifty is with respect to its historical pe ratios uh, and over and above that the earnings that are coming in from the psu banks are always going to be are very very shocking even now let's get to the third index which is the mid cap 50 index now this index shows something which is very very uh, very demanding on the upside if you look at the nifty uh, mid cap index the pe ratio nifty mid cap is demanding this is a few days back so the nifty pe ratio is now uh, somewhere in the zone of back towards 48 49 levels down that is something huge when you compare it with 2008 2009 top uh, 2007 2008 top during that period also nifty mid cap pe ratio was well below 30 and now we are demanding a pe of somewhere around 50 or or level so that clearly shows that wow the valuations have gone for a toss in the current markets no matter so uh, someone is trying to justify you why such a high valuation but i do not see it from the technical perspective if i look at the nifty pe ratio bank nifty pe ratio and i look at the p ratio of mid cap index i think we are headed for some serious uh, correction probably after a few weeks i don't know when the turn is going to happen 
unless and until the important supports are broken do not try to catch a top so uh, these pe ratios help us to understand from for the investments whether fresh investments should be done or not looking at these fresh investments should be avoided in the market secondly whether the markets are going to turn down immediately no you can't say that because it is it can stay in the expensive zone for few days few weeks or maybe it can turn down immediately so we can't really say for how long it's going to stay there and this time the rally has been a global phenomenon it's not just localized to india so it the distribution will take some time distribution or the topping process is a slower process compared to a bottoming one where a panic lows are created distribution takes some time and that's why it might take some time for markets to um, move back from the over so overbought zone back towards the normal sea and uh, for that to happen we need to look at the short term charts on uh, of nifty so let me now share come back to the nifty chart and show you uh, how uh, nifty looks like right now uh, on the charts by using a very simple technique of channels so if you look at this chart in the previous week we discussed about channels and if you remember i told that nifty is currently trading towards the upper end of the channel we can clearly see that uh if i connect the lower trend line uh if you look at this channel which is the lighter uh, red one let me change the color to probably a blue one uh so if you look at the blue channel right now and uh, if you connect the lows and the tops together prices are exactly at the channel resistance so i am going to be looking at this from a very simple perspective if one if you are not applying wave theory you look at this very simple aspect of price is lying at the channel resistance does it make sense to create long position at this channel resistance when rsi is already exhibiting some negative divergence on the downside for me it doesn't make any sense to go long right now because there is momentum loss and for a channel to be broken on upside we require a very very strong momentum so this is the time when one should be cautious this is the time when one should look at the important support levels and break of the support levels will provide a good shorting opportunity i would say and not going long so what are those support levels you can get it from our daily research report the financial wave short term update where you can see which support levels are important which wave counts are ongoing right now and what can be expected in the markets in near future that report is going to be exhaustive you can visit our website wavesstrategy.com and get information about that report from the website if you have any queries or doubts you can post it on our traders forum again or at wavestrategy.com or you can write to us at helpdesk@wavestrategy.com and i'll be more than happy to address those queries or questions and uh, over here uh, you uh, we are also conducting a training which is going to be there in july end and if you want to enroll for that two days of training seminar please feel free to uh, enroll or register yourself online on our website with strategy.com or call on 9920422202 uh that's it from my side and uh, thank you for your time have a wonderful weekend ahead and uh, see you again next week same time 4 pm on friday this webinar again will be shown on the uh, will be loaded on the website at 5 pm so you can visit the website and get again uh, you can view the entire webinar again thank you very much and uh, stay tuned see you again next week